Another question I've been receiving is, what's the transition plan back to on-site learning? When is this going to happen? All cards on the table, District 58 doesn't know when we're going to be able to return. Right now we have a tentative date of April 30th, the closure will end, and that our students will report back the next day. I do think we always need to be prepared that that could be extended, and it really depends on um, how successful social distancing will be. When we do get back though, as I've stated in, in previous videos, our district will use every tool we have available, formative assessments and summative assessments, to see where our students are at um, by subject area and make sure that we put in place through our response to intervention system uh, interventions that will get our students back to grade level if they are behind. Our teachers are working extremely hard to make sure that we cover the standards so hopefully we won't see very large gaps when our students do return because as I said our teachers are working extremely hard to make sure that we're covering uh, the standards. I do hope we're back sooner rather than later but we don't know the answer to that question yet. So I think we all need to prepare for the long haul with remote learning and we just need to make sure that we're engaging ourselves during this process to the best of our ability. Again, the district will be very flexible with this and when we are able to return, we'll all work together to make sure that our students um, don't have gaps in their knowledge. Thank you.